Helmer. Son of Florence. Delighted, Helmer. Now understand me, ma'am. I am in dire straits and in need of your aid. So please, now understand answer me, my queries in full and forthrightly. The bandits. Whom do they follow? Him, my lady. We've seen him. No name, just an odd title. The Duke of Dogs, they call him. The Duke of Dogs. My. A blue blood thoroughbred mutt. Where are he and his hounds bound? Did he say? That recall, Imogen? What do you name? A Gleaton or something? Or something? <laughs> Dude, the way these the way these peasants talk. Clayton. Lord Clayton. His estate lies to the south. Sound the horns. Have the men form up. We march at once. Milady! Ah, but no ayah for the Duke. He's a good man. Gave us proper brass for the welcome we gave him. Shared what grub he had. Okay, but why? What? Shut it, louts. The Queen's had her say. Your Grace, your orders. What are we to do with them? Uh, not kill them. The choices you make will have consequences. Some may be felt immediately, while others may take time. Choose carefully. Whip some sense into them. No. Wait, what? Whip some sense into them. Press some men into service. Set the women free. Leave them. No, we're gonna just say leave them be. I don't know, they all say that. They all say what? Consequences. <laughs> Consequences, my ass. <laughs> uh, no such thing. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I I wonder like how severe these consequences are. I'm just gonna put myself over here. I'm gonna do leave them be. Leave them be. The harvest draws close. Hard work. They'll have their hands full. Oh, my lady. Thanks be to you. Thanks Remember, be. compassion. I pray Mother Melita may watch over your kind heart. Pray she watches over yours. Should I hear of you sheltering oh. bandits again, of you lying to my officers, I shall return and put torch to every hot field and orchard. Understood. Oh, Jesus Christ. Meave set off toward Lord Clayton's estate at a gallop, her mouth knocking the peasants aside as it kicked up a cloud of dust. <laughs> what? The folk of Hawksburn spoke of the royal visit long after, albeit ever behind closed doors and in hushed tones. <laughs> yeah, why do you want to burn the fields? That... No, what the fuck? I'm trying to be kind, and that wasn't really kind to say. <laughs> I mean, they did lie, and they did harbor bandits, true. But, I thought I left. Apparently I didn't yet. Well, good, because I need to do this, so. Uh-oh, morale is low because of that choice. Eek! <laughs> Notice boards are a great source of information about what's happening in the area. Clicking on them will cause markers to appear in your regional map. Yay, question marks! Showing you where to find places of interest. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to get more question marks. Was oh, loot over here? I didn't get loot. What the fuck? I gotta go. Okay, this map isn't too big, actually. Puzzle. Point of interest. Puzzle. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, I gotta go back and get that loot. Apparently, it's over there. That's kind of cool. Okay. We gotta go get this loot over here, though. Apparently, oh yeah, I missed it right up here. Burn the fields and burn the huts. Burn it all down. All right, let's get. What is this, Raynard? What is what? I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh. What is what? Oh, wait, I see loot. Hey, hey, hey.
3D to make to 3D made to look like 2D. The things they sort of get up to these days. Yeah, it's kind of cool. You're graced. Two of your subjects humbly request aid. Yarplek and Wilmer, they called themselves. Seems a wagon axle snapped and they need to hurry to the market. What are your orders? Some of the camp overseers have them see what can be done. A few. Wait. Does this mean I'm gonna get morale? We are right on. We have no time to do with this. I do need morale. Oh no, that's. Wait, I don't understand what that. Does that mean? Is that the morale thing? Oh, it is the morale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I think we need to do this. Um, let's do this. Boom! There we go. Perfect. What? I like. <laughs> like I just disappeared. Poof. Oh, hello. My queen, a stray of Spala was found inside the dwelling. He was wounded during the siege on Hawksburn, then abandoned by his comrades. The location of the spoils he's offered to share. That is, should we spare his that is, should we spare his life? The location of their spoils he's offered to share. Hell no! I ain't gonna be bribed. I get a map, but Free the ma the Freemasons. Thronebreaker, yep, yep. It's your favorite type of uh, fa your favorite type ga type of game. Uh by cur of his sword, I will not be bribed. Hang him! I'm hanging him. Like that. Dee <laughs> dee. Puzzle. Oh boy. How do we get in there? I gotta go around. Real, real nice. <clears throat> ah, he was a bandit? Okay, and he was trying to bribe me to that save his me. life. What is it? Look out! Rock slide! What? In a flash, Reynard leapt for Maeve. Resting the queen from her saddle. Had he arrived a moment later, Maeve would have had would have met her fate under a massive boulder. And yes, I am alive. And I killed him, very kind of you. Okay, there's limitations to that, okay? Alas, she was- bandits are evil people, so... Okay, not all of them, but most of them are. Alas, she was not yet free from danger. The entire es escar escarpment- escarpment- es what the fuck that word? I've never seen that word. Escarpment had begun to collapse onto the road, along with the temple wall that stood atop it. The screams of crushed and dying soldiers cast a somber shadow upon the queen. If she needed to collect her wits and act quickly to establish control over her unit! Following special rules, all the main objectives to win the puzzle of battle. This battle will last only one round. Oh. But, uh, yes, I am still alive, as you can see. Destroy all boulders. That is my that is my goal here. This battle will only last for one round. Some battles are subject to special rule sets, where strength alone is not enough to win. To be victorious, you must complete specific goals. On the exploration map, such battles are marked with a puzzle icon. Of a bandit named the De Demon Demonizing. Escarpment. The ridge of a cliff. Ah, okay, got you. Some battles are subject. Okay, blah blah. This, this battle's more. Okay. In this particular puzzle battle, your goal is to destroy all the bullets before they reach Maze Roll. Oh, shit. The bluff crumbles! Fall back! Save oh my God. yourselves! Save! Your Grace, the wagon, we can use it as cover. Forward, we must move it forward. Play Wagon Burn on the melee roll. Now. Oh god! Far fewer than I presume. Summon your comrades, damn it! Chop chop! Before I reach for my whip. And I will listen to the mailer roll and attack the boulder closest to me. Oh my god! Laria! Laria! 
What is this? Oh, that's what I did? Oh, shit. That's not what I want to do. It tells you what cards play. Uh, this is still the tutorial. Play another Arbalist on the melee roll and then attack the bullet close to me. Note that the Arbalist deals damage equal to the number of units on their roll. One bolt. <laughs> What's up, little bitch? Wait. Can I play this or not? Nope. Wait. If there's a boulder on this roll, Maeve, Maeve loses the battle. Oh, shit. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is just the uh, tutorial still. Uh, play another Arbalist in the melee roll, then attack the boulder closest to Maeve. This time the Arbalist will do enough damage to, to, to destroy the boulder on its own. Yeah, it will. Give me a time. Bye bye! The Use the wagon now! Use the wagon now! Oh, bitch! <sighs> We've come through, Raynard. I thank you. I mean, tutorials tell you what. That's the point of tutorials, is to tell you what to do so you understand the game. <laughs> the walls of the temple collapsed. The buttress is doubtless damaged by something. Or someone. There's nothing we can do here. We ride on. We ride on. Yes, we ride on. Wait. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> so we're here. Who's this fucking dwarf guy down here? I mean, tut yeah, tutorials are there just to give you the basics. Obviously, that will end a once I... Cart, loaded with a heap of hay, came rattling down the road from the opposite direction. Clear the road! Bellowed Count Caldwell, standing in his stirrups. Make way for your queen! The Jesus. peasants obediently turned their cart into the roadside nettles. As she passed, Meave glanced towards it and froze. Atop the hay bale lay a badly wounded man gripped by fever. The thick, sweet stench of rot wafted from his bandaged legs. Gods, who did this to him? Meave asked. Bandits? Nay, nee, milady, replied the cartman. Twere a beast. Twere a beast. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it... Especially since this Gwent is way different than in Witcher 3. So, like, if it just, like, put me into it, I would have no fucking idea what I'm doing. And, I, yeah, I, and I, I like being able to read stuff and, and figure it out myself. Sure. Out to the east, down Gwetterton Way, lies a barnyard, old as the elves, they say. The peasant continued. But I, can, I definitely see what you're saying. There. Came running back to us, drenched in blood, rattling on about a long-haired wench come climbing out a grave. We've taken him to the good sisters of Melitale here on Bridge. Perhaps they can help him. I'm certain they can. And will, replied the Queen. Though just looking at the wounded wretch, she knew he'd expire before nightfall. God speed you on your journey. Damn, dude. Guy got fucked up. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely gonna die. The queen whistled, and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, your grace? Caldwell asked. One of those freaks should make short work of the monster. Until we apprehend the bandits, I shan't allow a single soul to leave our company. Even on such an important mission as finding a witcher. Meave replied. Any who did would be captured at once. But, if fate brings us near Wetterton... Perhaps we'll see to this monstrous Harridan ourselves. Your Grace, we've only just fought beasts and scarcely escaped with our lives. This she-beast will take a silver sword. Magic formulae. Yet a dozen arbalists will have to suffice, the Queen said, calmly but firmly. And please, Caldwell, do stiffen your spine a bit. Now onward. <laughs> Jesus. When is this game set? Um, God. Twelve, twelve... 
what was it? What did it say? 1267, I think? I think that's what it said. I think it's before... I think it's before... Oh, God. I don't know how long before the Witcher games it takes place. Here ends the main part of the tutorial. From now on, you're on your own. Good luck! Oh, thanks. Thanks, game. Yay. <laughs> oh, my fuck. Wait. I missed this shit up here? What the fuck? Before the Witcher 2, at the very least. Well, this is before Geralt even met Meeve, I'm pretty sure. So he wasn't really Geralt of Rivia. Wait, no, that's where he's born. Never mind. Um, I don't know when... Uh, it, it said 12... It said 1267, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what year the, the Witcher games take place. How do I get over there? Oh, that's down here. That's up there. Oh shit. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I mean, all, all, all I'd have to do is just look up when the Witcher, the first Witcher game, took place. <clears throat> Any loot? Nope. Oh, there's some right here, though. Off to Wetterton, are ye? Bonnie turn that. Just the folk of be on shite. Where's my where's the main Oh it's down there. Shit. I wanna get these points of interest though. Oh, don't wanna do this. Sure. My lady, the locals claim a treasure's hidden within the cave. We can set a small detachment to learn what truth there is to the rumor. I must admit, at first glance, it appears rather treacherous. I can't guarantee everyone will turn in one piece, if at all. This uh, rumor we shall put to the test. Have the men draw lots. Let's see whom. Um. Sure, let's go. This rumor. We shall put it to the test. Have the men draw lots. See who among them shall, shall go. Oh. Okay. Hmm, what's over here? Ooh. Oh shit, this is the... I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest. <laughs> this is that, uh... <laughs> I don't, like, I don't know how much I can venture out in this game. Oh, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Fuck it, let's go over here. Hey, what's up? This is the, uh, the hag that they were talking about, or whatever. Oh. The Lyrians entered the graveyard. Crickets chirped in its tall, windswept grass, and lush green moss covered its crumbling gravestones. Only a fresh bloodstain upon a mausoleum wall suggested that something disturbed the dead in their rest and hunted the living. Save your tears, throw off your grief. An eerie voice sang, its ghastly lament standing Meave's hair on end. Soon your life too shall cease. As you pass into the eternal glow. Damn, a dude. pockmarked, pustule-ridden creature crawled out from behind some gravestones. It vaguely resembled a shriveled, hunchbacked hag, until its head split into two halves, forming a tooth-spiked maw. Attack! Everyone! So one is set in 1270. Okay, so this is this is 1267. So it's three years before the first Witcher game. Gotcha. What exactly was the monster Meeve encountered at the cemetery? The inhabitants of Wetter Wet Wetterton called it a mourner. They believed it to be a she-elf driven mad after her children were killed. From time to time, she would return to their graves to light candles, lay flowers. 
and make an offering of human blood. Oh boy. Kill the grave egg. Oh boy. 16. Uh oh. Hopefully I can. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Oh my god. This is gonna be difficult. Oof, duh. Okay, so I gotta wait to play these guys. <sighs> Every two turns, that turn start to destroy the lowest unit. Well, actually, if I kill this, damage all units on this roll by four. Every two turns on turn start, destroy the lowest unit. Like, oh, lowest unit, okay. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Oh, they passed. So, this is gonna get destroyed. Oh my god. Wow, dude. This is gonna be tough. One bone's all I need. <sighs> that sucks, man. That really sucks. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. Let's see if I play it. Oh god. Give me a time. <gasps> oh right. Play a copy of each. Time I taught you some respect. Abolista, your command. We won! <laughs> Yay. What... What was that filth? The queen croaked hoarsely as the dying monster writhed in agony at her feet. I know not, your grace, replied Reynard. But to be safe, I would have the corpse chopped up and burned. Elsewise, we will not be certain it shall not return. Yes, have it done, Meave said, brushing her hair from her beaded brow. But quickly. Lest dust catch us in this foul place. The Lyrians soon resumed their march. As they left the cemetery behind them, some believed they still heard the haunting dirge upon the air. Or was it just the wind whistling past mossy tombstones? Good fucking question, dude. This card has been added to your army and can be found in the command tent. Maeve, Warhammer. Hawk croaked hoarsely. Poked coarsely. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. In the command tent, you can change Maeve's equipped weapons. Equipped weapon, thus changing her ability. To do this, select Maeve in the upper left corner of the panel and place one of the available cards in your deck. Wait, where was that again? Okay, click her. Okay, so it's her ability. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna go to command tent yet. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. My queen, one of the destroyed graves belonged to an elven mage. Was his name Avalach? <laughs> oh no, wait, no. Because we haven't met him yet. We might find something of worth, but we would first need to dedicate sufficient resources to have the debris cleared. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, map fragment. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, card fragment. My bad. Not a map fragment. Even before I piss off a vampire in the cemetery. Fucking god, I hope not. I feel like a vampire would wreck my booty hole right now. So I could set up... Oh, shit. Hello? Mouse, stop. Sucking, please. Thank you. 
All right, let's see what's going on down down hizzle. Hello, good folk. Oh shit! No, save the dwarf. As they neared Wetterton, the queen ordered her company to halt. She then sent men to the town for supplies. You're gonna go dig up some set. graves and fall Return too. All right. Quickly than she'd assumed. Yeah, they I will have fun. You have fun as well. Empty. Their mounts foaming at the mouth. Your Majesty, the townsfolk have gone right mad. Herded all the elves and dwarves to Market Square. Tis a slaughter. The Queen knew well that if she failed to intervene, the town's streets would flow with non-human blood. Just as she knew her meager force might not subdue an enraged crowd. Um... Move on without entering Wetterton. Intervene and defend the non-humans. Where is your command, Your Grace? Reynard's question pierced the silence. What can it be, dear friend? Answered the Queen, then spurred her mount and rode off towards the town. You'll we'll probably be back later. All right, yeah, no problem. Running as fast I'll as be here for a little bit. Carry them. When they passed inside the town gate, they saw corpses lining the gutters. Meave realized she had arrived too late to prevent a tragedy. The crowd was drunk on blood. Its rage would need to be quelled with an iron fist. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> One. <laughs> Unfortunately, this was not Lyra's first pogrom. Pogrom. Nor its last. Although the wars between humans and the elder races had ended decades past, elves and doors were still painfully aware how quickly rumor can turn to hatred. <laughs> It does not take long before pitchforks and flails are taken to the streets, and the cobblestones are stained crimson with blood. Blame it at all foes. Neighbors. Bam, bam, bam. Step away, or see your heads bounce down the cobblestones. Okay, every turn on turn starts, set this unit's power equal to the number of angry mobs on this rope. Damage all units on enemy room. Spawn two light infantry on the right. Okay, we need to do this. Reynard, who started this? I must know. So much hatred. We must put a stop to it. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Go to the other row. Wait, do I want to do that? Shit, maybe I... Oh shit, I should have played him first, I think. That, they're just gonna be set to six, yeah. <sighs> no, I didn't want to do that. Her Majesty is. We must strike the largest clusters. Disperse them up. I only got one armor. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do here. What part of Forster? Restart. <laughs> Step away! Or yeah, I gotta figure out. Down the cobblestones. When I gain one armor, one of our card appears on the throw. I gotta figure out how to do this. Yeah, I can't get these cards though. I gotta figure out how to do this, damn it. Okay. I feel like I gotta play this first. I need to try to get him six, right? Reynard, who started this? I must know. 
So much hatred. We must put a stop to it. I think maybe I still do this. That's not who I wanted. Strike the largest clusters. Disperse them all. I tried to click that one. Fuck. I think I know how to do it. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Yeah, that, that didn't do it. 